Now, as any beginner would like to do, they'd like to add some clouds. So I simply grab titanium white and a fan brush. I use two brushes for the clouds, a, one to put the stamp, to stamp the cloud on and another to blend. I'll show you to blend in a minute. To get something realistic, let's put this in the horizon line there. So we're making a cloud probably about this kind of biggishness. There we go, and a bit more billowing out here. Now you know when to stop when your brush tells you. How does your brush tell you to stop, Ian? How? Well, see, it's starting to slowly pick up the blue sky colour paint. That's when I know when to stop, and I'll blend that cloud. How do you blend a cloud, Ian? I pick up my blending brush and a kitchen towel, and this darker colour is going to mix with that, and I want to just simply blur that down into the horizon line. I'm going from the whole base of the paintbrush, now I'm going to the corner. Why, just now, why did you change it to the corner? Because see that little bit there and the openness? You, you need to leave some of that stuff within your cloud so it doesn't just look like one smeared blob. Yeah, you wouldn't want smeared blobs all on your clouds, would you? No, and the more you do them, the better you become at them. Now I'm just slowly tickling the tops of that cloud stopping and wiping the brush all the time. I tell you what, Ian, that cloud looks beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that, I love it. Oh, my good, oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like it too, and you can paint this if you know. Now I'll go to the edge of my blending brush, and then I'm gonna just kind of drag that lineal there, because to me, these clouds down in the bottom half of the sky, they're, if anything, longer. And when I finish this cloud, you'll see just how good it looks, and you can do it with this practice. Okay, there we go. White paint, just so I can put some yumminess in my clouds there. Ian, what's yumminess? Yumminess is the fluffy white bits you see. I'll show you, watch this. See how that cloud is just all flat? It looks flat. We wanna make it look 3D kind of thing now if we can. So we're just putting our yumminess here, there, and wherever we feel. Don't think about it, just try and do it. There we go. And you can probably put a little bright bit there. And then we grab your blending brush again and softly sit the hard edges of that yumminess down into your cloud there. Leaving the vibrancy, the light, brighter colour of that white there. See, so watch this little bit here. I'm using just the corner of the brush and you'll see once I've finished just how yummy that made the cloud look and that's why I call it the yumminess. I like that word Ian, yumminess. Makes your paintings look yummy, doesn't it? Well it can do, yes. 